This exercise is called the dumbbell row. Now this is a supported dumbbell row and eventually we will demonstrate the unsupported dumbbell row. The advantage of using a supported dumbbell row is if you've just finished up doing a heavy set of deadlifts, your back's going to be tired. If you've done a heavy set of squats, your back's going to be tired. However, you still need to be able to work your upper back. And the dumbbell row is an ideal one. And I'll show you what this looks like. Just going to do the one side, because they both look the same. Put your knee on the bench. I like to put my hand down here like this or like this. It doesn't matter. However you want to put your hand down. If you're really flexible, it's going to be easy going any way you want to. This is the way I like to do it right here. Grab yourself a dumbbell, and notice it's going to come straight up, high elbows, straight down. There it is. Up, down. Up, down. Notice the coming up motion is a lot faster than the going down motion. For the simple fact is, I want that concentric power build up. On the other hand, I don't want it to go down so fast that it's pulling my joint apart. You have to be careful with your shoulder joint. Remember, it's a shallow ball and socket. It's not like your hip, which is a true ball and socket. So, it doesn't take a lot to dislodge that shoulder out of, the, out of position. That's the dumbbell barbell row.